What is up guys, this is Cubewack here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke. Last time we did go ahead and get ourselves our 8th gym badge, our 8th and I believe final gym badge, we don't know for sure yet. Because I haven't played um, all the way through Uranium, I don't remember everything about this game, and honestly I don't remember a lot of what's going on right now, so that is pretty exciting. That I didn't pay that much attention when I watched these games way back when. But, ladies and gentlemen, last time we did uh, get our 8th gym badge, and in that process, very, very, ever so unfortunately, we did lose an amazing member of the squad that we were very excited to be using. It was their first episode even with us in the game, period. And that was Storm, our sweet little Storm. I can't believe this thing was the one that died. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. But last episode, we did go ahead and um, lose Storm on... A it was an accident. I mean, that sounded like I intended it. But um, that happened. Also, I don't even know what the heck happened. But at the end of the episode, we did hear that Pokemon... Or nuclear power plant Omicron was um, under attack. Or it was suspected to be under attack soon. And they have asked us to go to nuclear plant Omicron with them. And help them stop whatever might be attacking these plants. I don't even remember what it is. I'm excited to figure it out. But before we do any of that, let's do what we would normally do. And start off with a quick team recap. Maybe an actual quick one this time. But first off, leading up the squad. At the moment, we have Silence the Nucleon here to silence all of our foes. Rocking off Hyper Voice Conversion 2, Half Life, and Mirror Coat, holding that expert belt to make that Hyper Voice even more detrimental to everybody's existence. That is not silence. Next up, we have Captain I'm the Captain now with Drain Punch, Mock Punch, Giga Drain, and Energy Ball holding the black belt to punch a little bit harder. Then we have Shiver the Alpico. I don't even know what to say about Shiver. Shiver just doesn't have anything too special with its name right now, to be honest. But Shiver, with Moonblast, Fake Out, Blizzard, or and Aurora Beam, holding that Never Melt Ice, to make its Ice-type attacks even stronger. Then we have Breathless here to take your breath away. I like that. I don't know. I don't know if I like it a lot, but we got Breathless here. Rocket off Hydro Pump, Dive, Coral Break, and Psychic, holding that Amulet Coin to very politely ask you for your lunch money. And then we have the real MVP, Simba, with Extreme Speed, Flame Impact, Dig, and Shadow Claw holding that Inflagedite to get the rocket boosters on and boost away and destroy everybody. And that is it. That is it. That is our team. All right. We got five members. The sixth member we have not yet added that will be handled once we could actually use a Pokemon Center and grind up and stuff. But for now, we're going to rock out five members and see what we could be. But all right, all right, all right. You are the one I need to talk to. Are you ready to go to the island, Cubo? I am. Take us there, Staraptor. It only took me, though. That's the funny thing. We're probably both gonna land. Yo, this is a cool little cutscene. That was a cool little thing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Is this Theo or is this Cameron? I think it's Theo. I think Cameron would be a little, would look a little uh, older, even in the overworld sprite. Uh, Cubo, you arrived at last. I think this is Theo's voice. Cubo, you've arrived at last. Yo, yo, Cubo, bet you weren't expecting to see me here, huh? We each flew here as soon as we heard the news from the Rangers. Whoever the anonymous person was, they sent me, that sent them that info. They were right on the money. This island is swarming with nuclear Pokemon. We don't know where they are coming from, but one thing is certain. They are trying to break into the power plant. I have never seen nuclear Pokemon. I oh, wait, no. I don't know who's talking right now. Never seen nuclear Pokemon act like this. No, oh, I think this is our dad. I think our dad had our own voice too. I don't think we gave our dad a special voice. Normally they're vicious and mindless monsters, but these Pokemon are coordinated. They seem to be following some sort of plan. Do you think it's possible that they are obeying a trainer's orders? I don't know if this is Theo or our dad. I really can't tell. I feel like it has to be our dad. I don't see Theo saying saying this. We considered that, but these are wild Pokemon. Pokeballs still work on them. That is strange. That is strange. It is essential that we prevent the nuclear Pokemon from breaking and entering the power plant. Otherwise, they might detonate the reactor, which would release massive amounts of radiation across this island and the cities beyond. Cubo, Theo, I have seen both of you battle, so I know how capable you are as trainers. Do your best to uh, subdue as many nuclear Pokemon as you can. We must protect this power plant and all of East Tandor at any cost. Alright, so they're gonna do our thing. Alright, so this is Theo. Uh, Alright, Cubo, I'm gonna show these nuclears and I'm not afraid of any of them. C oh, wait. Come at me! 
come at me, bro. He said, come at me, bro. He really said, come at me, bro. It's been so long since I've heard that. All right, what about you? This island is crawling with nuclear Pokemon, Gubo. Do you know what to do? Go and show them who's boss. All right, you're going to heal us. You're going to heal us, which I do appreciate. Uh, we're going to be able to surf. All right, what we got to do here is we really got to think how we want to handle our encounter. Because this dude over here is fighting a nuclear Pokemon. We have all of this grass, but we also have the possibility of a nuclear Magikarp or Gyarados. And nuclear Gyarados is a nuclear mon in this game that will obey you. Nuclear mons usually do not obey you besides a select few, including uh, Silence and um, other mons such as... Or, well, I don't think there's there's a few other mons that are nuclear without being affected, you know, but nuclear Gyarados I believe is one of the only ones if not the only one in the whole game um, That will actually obey you ahead of time, but we got a nuclear Corsola. Okay. This is an uh, interesting question though I'm gonna try to re-encounter I'm gonna try to re-encounter because I don't want to catch this and ruin my encounter. I'm going to try to re-encounter and see because we already caught a Corsola. I can't remember from the first power plant if it does consider different forms as a whole different encounter. I can't. It did. I. We actually don't know. We actually don't know because um, uh, the first time we got a nuclear encounter back on the first power plant or back at the first power plant, I should say, things did not go too good. Things did not go too good um, for us. Okay, Dovac is calling. But things did not go too good because we actually uh, ended up killing that encounter. We did not catch it at all or even throw a single Pokeball at it. So I am curious to see. Are they going to give us dupes against the Corsola? You know what? Since this is not working and we're just getting a bunch of a bunch of Corsolas, can I actually, like, take you out somehow? I don't... Not with... Silence, honestly. Silence, you could eat hits better than anybody else here right now. But, um, you definitely can't dish them out as good as everybody else here right now. Because nuclear does resist nuclear. Alright, none of this is working down here. I'm gonna try to go surf over here. Because I am looking for that Gyarados. I am looking for that Gyarados. So maybe Gyarados can only be found over here. I can get that one to talk, but I can't battle it. But I can't battle it. It's just giving me Corsolas, dude. Can we actually not get Gyarados over here? Can we actually not get Gyarados at all over here? That would be a little unfortunate, but I hope that's not the case. I hope that is not the case. How much experience are you going to give us? You didn't give us none. You didn't give us anything. All right, let's use a... Do we have a super rod yet? Do we have our super rod yet? Because I feel like we got a super rod. And it happened. I feel like that was part... Yeah, I do. I, I didn't have that, though. Um... Where it should have been because a whole bunch of stuff that happened when the game... I accidentally didn't save that one episode a few episodes back. But alright, let's try a Super Rod. What are we going to get through that? Gyarados, another Corsola. Is this all we could get in the water is just Corsolas? I mean, that told us to fight the Pokemon anyways. Alright, so it looks like we're not really getting... We're not really getting that Gyarados. Um... And since that is the case, I'm going to go ahead and check the grass instead. I just want to pretty much see if different forms count as a different encounter. Because either way, whatever we catch is very unlikely to actually be a mon I'm going to be keeping on the team. Due to, um, yo, we got the ninjas here. We got the ninjas here. This has got to be an epic part of the game, isn't it? These nuclear freaks are of nature are no match for my Pokemon. Eh, here comes two of them now. How about you and me team up and show them what we're made of? Oh, no. Oh, no. Please attack this delta or this nuclear tuberil. Please, Theo, attack this, this tuberil. I don't even want to attack. That's how scared I am. Can I throw a Pokeball or is it going to stop me? It's possible when they aim when there are two Pokemon. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Now is the time. If they use a water type attack, though, I'm, I'm screwed. I'm actually screwed if they use anything besides a nuclear-type attack if I send in silence. 
You know what? You know what? No, I can't send in a... Dude, this is a tough one. This is a very tough situation. I think Silence is the only one here that's not gonna take. I think Silence are our best bet to send in if we do want to get an encounter, but... You're using Hurricane? Thank you for hitting the tuba reel. Thank you for hitting the tuba reel, but Hurricane? Oh, man. Oh, man. What is going on? My phone, I put it in my pocket, and now it is just blowing up a few seconds later. All right, Hydro Pump. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. There's water up. There's rain. What am I doing? What am I doing? All right, I got to send in. Oh, I can't send anybody else. I'm not risking silence. A nuclear Gyarados is nothing. It's nothing compared to silence. To be completely honest, I knew it was going to kill this Gyarados, but... A nuclear Gyarados is nothing compared to my uh, Nucleon. So now I know for sure we don't have an encounter here. Uh, we just killed it, but... I had no clue that was coming by talking to Theo, so yeah. Good going, Cubo. You and, you and me make a good team, don't you think? Oh, man. I know exactly what we have to do then. It's gonna be a... You guys hear that? It's the victory music playing over and over again. Uranium's crashing. Uranium just crashed. Quack. All right, guys, so um, we're back here. We're back on the power plant island. I have just come back after my game crashed. Uh, today's been quite a day. Today has been quite a day. I had a really good stream. I had a good day. It's just, man, it's been a long weekend. I'm recording this Sunday night. It's been a pretty long weekend for me, not gonna lie. And I'm kind of not not digging uh, whatever the heck's going on here, but real quick here, we're gonna go ahead and body ourselves some nuclear Pokemon once more. I'm not gonna try to catch the Gyarados. I'm not gonna try to catch the Gyarados. We just knocked it out a second ago. I'm not going to... I'm not going to act like it's okay to knock it out or catch it now because our game crashed. That would make no sense. But I really hope that, um... I really hope that in the situation we we're about to face, that it does not end up the way it just was a second ago. I really hope my game does not crash again by trying to heal my Pokemon because that wasn't fun. That was not fun. I did not like getting, um, I did not like getting my game crashed at all. At all, and I really the whole reason you're seeing this again is because I didn't want to do that again I'm sure you guys can understand I did not want to do a recap and do the whole entire team thing all over again But all right, we're gonna battle all these Pokemon I'm sure we're gonna have to do this with each and every person here like we're gonna have to do this with not only Theo, but Probably gonna have to do it with um, Probably gonna have to do it with that guy too and everybody all right. I should have healed before doing this there Yeah, it was literally just that weird that weird audio issue where it kept playing the victory music over and over again, but alright. Next up, we're gonna battle with this dude. We're gonna battle with this dude. Oh, your partner Pokemon fainted. So I have to fight this. It said, I love it how it made a tan skewer cry, but neither one of these are a tan skewer. Neither one of these are a tan skewer. That's cool though, a uh, nuclear chupacho. It's pretty cool to see. Pretty cool to see. Alright, I am going to... I have no clue what I am going to. You know what? The Owl 10... Okay, I'm going to mock punch the Owl shout, uh, shouting because it's normal nuclear. Um, that thing should be poison nuclear. Poison nuclear. I don't even know what to do on you. I don't even know what to do on you. I'm going to just hit Hyper Voice so that everybody gets damaged. All right, a shouting. Get out of here. And get out of here indeed. You're done. You're done. That's not going to do too much because nuclear does resist. It killed it anyways. Silence is still that good. All right, you're done. You're done. You're gone. Can I talk to you now? All right, he said thanks. He said thanks. I do like how the dialogue changed. I kind of, I half expected it not to change at all, but I'm happy it did. I'm happy it did. What else is going on around here? What else is going on around here? All right, yo, 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 yo. That is crazy looking. This is a crazy looking scene over here. Can I step in the middle of it? Can I step in? I can. Hello. All right, I'm gonna talk to you. Uh, these Pokemon, they, uh, these Pokemon, they never tire. All right, I got them. I got them since you guys, oh wait, no, I don't have to battle with them, I think. Yeah, I don't have to battle with them. 
All right. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Who's that? That's our dad with an Arbok fighting him. An Arbok? Let me go up here and help this ninja first. I'll be back. I'll be back, dad, who needs help. What is this? Just gonna be a nuclear tanks here. A nuclear tanks here. I know we've seen that. I know we've seen that. Boom, just get knocked out real quick. Just get knocked out real quick since it is just free experience. It's not great experience, but... It is easy. It is free. It does not cost me anything. What is this? A halfly berry? What is a halfly berry? I feel like that's something to do with nuclear types. I feel like that's something to do with nuclear types because halfly, that's the first every almost every letter except the last two of half life. I definitely feel like that is a I definitely feel like that is a, a berry for Yup, it's a held by Pokemon. It weakens the foe super effective nuclear type attacks. Yo, we're about to give that to everybody. I kind of want to give that to everybody. To be honest. All right, what are you? Buck, buck. They taste the taste the steel of my blade. Hey, you mind giving a little help over here? They're too tough for me to handle alone. Got you. Got you, my ninja friend. Even though it's just one of them, it's a big old nuclear tropint. A big old nuclear. Okay, what is this? This is kind of not good for me. This is a poison nuclear type, right? I want to say this thing, it's either Psychic... How many is it Drain Punch? Oh yeah, it's definitely a Poison Nuclear typing. It's definitely that. It tried to swallow, but it had nothing to swallow. It had nothing to swallow, my dude. You gotta stockpile before you use that move. Alright, it's gone. It's gone! Haha, -ha, coward before my ninja technique! Ninja cheerleading! Way to go, Cuba! You're the best! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like how they do, like... I like that though. I like how the game recognizes when you're doing all the work and they're not just out here like, oh, we did it, even though it's obvious I did it and they didn't help at all. It is cool. Um, it is cool seeing them be like, hey, you did it. Like, you did it, not me. All right. The new group Pokemon are coming in from all sides. Subdue as many of them as you can. I know you can handle this. All right, where do I go now? Do I have to go in order? Do I have to go in order? Is that why? They didn't battle at first? My love, you must remain resolute. We shall defeat their evil. Wait, no, my love, you. Byakugan, my love, you must remain resolute. We shall defeat this evil with the power of the gods. My husband has grown weary, and yet these Pokemon do not stop. We may be avatars, but we are only more. But we are also mere mortals. Cubo, please help us face this threat. Alright, so maybe it is in order. Yo, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. They have a full blown Uchabra. And they're making me do it alone! And they're making me do it alone. Alright, so we got a poison. Yeah, this is bad. This is a little bad. Must say, it is not good. It is definitely not good. I'll tell you that. I will tell you that. Alright, um, silence. You're switching. You're switching. Um, Captain. Oh, Captain, I really hope you're okay. I really hope you're okay to stay in. Okay, I'm, I'm worried about a poison type. I'm worried about a nuclear. You know what? Simba might be the Simba. I think Simba is that Simba today. Yeah, Simba is that Simba today. Simba is the Simba. This is going to be one of the toughest challenges we've had in the game yet, to be honest. We can't rely on silence anymore, you know? Like, in a while, I should say. Not in the whole game, but all of the reliance that we have been able to place on um, silence to silence everybody this whole time, we're, we don't have that against nuclear Pokemons. Like, like, nuclear Pokemon are the one thing in the game that we actually, like, there's nothing I could really do. Like, there's actually nothing I could really do about it. Alright, uh, what do I want to do here is the realest question I have. I want to say Flame Impact will do more, even in the rain. Even in the rain, I definitely feel like Flame Impact will do more. I hope. I hope, Simba. Well, I know I know Captain's going to hit him, too, even if that didn't kill. But it did. It did. Thank you, Simba, for coming through and being the MVP that we needed you to be. I believe I could go on now, my love. Wait, okay, I don't know which one. I think that was I think that was uh, Kato speaking. I believe I can go on now, my love. The gods lent us their strength. Boom. Boom. I love it how they said the gods. Are they are they hinting? Am I the god? Am I the god for lending you my strength? 
Whoa, this is bad. I just realized they're on the wrong side. Q, thank Arceus you're here. These nuclear Pokemon are relentless. Whatever it takes, we have to keep them from getting inside. Yo, what? That's strange. They've stopped attacking. I've never seen them act like this before. What's happening? I've got a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about... It's blowing up in our face! What was that? Something inside the plant, but how? I don't like this. I don't think it's- I don't think it's blowing it up. I think this is- I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I got ideas. Cubo, get down! Oh, it is blowing up. Oh, no. Yo, the animations or whatever you wanna- I'm at a loss. I am at an actual loss for words right now. I am at an actual loss for words right now. What is happening? This is awesome. <clears throat> I don't know what to give this guy. <clears throat> I want to put on the Kaneki mask, but it's so much work. It's gone. The uranium is gone. All right, that's going to be the voice. Let me just cover my mouth. Where is it? I like it. I like it because he's in a mask. You, stop where you are. This is insane! As chief of the Tandor Rangers, I order you to freeze! His text is green? Identify yourself or we'll attack! We are Kiri. We are Urane. They're one. They're linked. Stand aside or face oblivion! Yo, I'm loving this character. <clears throat> you, you're the one that's been attacking the power plants. You're under arrest. Perhaps you misheard us. Now you shall suffer. Brain, use Half-Life. That's not suffer though, bro. That only does half of my health. Oh my gosh, they attacked the actual trainer though. Kya! She has radiation poisoning. We have to get her out of here. You weak, pathetic fools. Can you not see the power we control? He has the power of actual nuclear bombs. But in the, like, oh my god, this is insane. The plot of this game is actually super, it's beautiful. This is definitely, I understand why this fan game was as big of a success as it is. This is amazing. There is no way. Okay, I have to use both hands. I have to use both hands or else it doesn't sound right. There is no way that you can hope to win. Surrender or be obliterated. All right. Oh, all right. I hope you can like hear me. The nuclear Pokemon. Is that is that thing giving commands? They've got us. Uh, they got us surrounded. We can't escape. All those that oppose us will be raised to the ground. Now heed our demands, or else all of you shall perish. The voice is crazy, but uh, I can't let I can't let my Rangers die. This is insane. What is it that you want? We require more enriched uranium fuel. Is that why you attack the power plants? To steal the nuclear fuel? Yes. I swear, that's all he says. Our power far exceeds any that would oppose us. We will crush them without mercy. You, you've destroyed the environment and endangered the lives of people and Pokemon. You won't get away with this. I'll, I'll take you down by myself if I have to. <laughs> How amusing! It isn't even a trainer, and yet it would oppose us. I forgot rangers aren't trainers. I completely forgot that. I completely forgot that. Such arrogance! For this, it will be annihilated in an instant. Nope. Nope. Uranium. Uranium. Atomic punch. I swear, if my dad dies right now. Cubo, if I don't make it, you have to stop this. Curry, no matter what, we will not let them defeat us. Cameron, the music. <laughs> Stand down, Curry. This ends now. I don't even remember Cameron's voice, but I think it was just kind of like this. Stand down, Curry. This ends now. You impossible. Oh, man. The, the voice is so hard to do without, like, my hands. 
constantly being right here. All right, I'm gonna stop covering my mouth. It's just too much work right now. <laughs> but dude, 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 this is madness. This is actual madness. Impossible, we thought we killed you. You thought wrong, and now you are too late. I, you see that thing he's riding on? He's Yada Gotta You? I really wish Storm would have evolved into that thing, but it didn't. Now you are too late. I had the uranium removed from this power plant. You'll never find it. Cameron is a freaking... Mm, the story is so good. I've been watching you in secret. I figured out your weakness. Without fuel, you have no power. Wait, Cameron talks a little more deep like this. Yeah. This was all a trap for you, and you walked right into it. Now, you will pay for crimes against Tandor. I, I can't believe it. Cameron, he was the one who gave us the tip? Dad? Dad is alive? Oh, man, this is so tight. You might have the power of a legendary Pokemon on your side, but that doesn't mean you will win. I think I gave him, like, a Knuckles voice. I think that's what I went for. But that doesn't mean you will win. I have been watching you. I know your limits. When I defeat your reign, I will, it will go dormant. After that, you will be powerless. Fair. Powerless, are we? You forget. We have an infinite army of nuclear Pokemon at our beck and call. You stand no chance against all of us. For your insolence following us, frustrating our plans, you will be destroyed. Dad's in trouble. Come on, Cubo, we gotta help him. Theo, wait. No, we're going, bro. They, we're going all out. Dad, we're here to help you. I'm not gonna let you disappear on me again. Theo, what are you doing here? It's too dangerous. You have to leave. Curry won't hesitate to kill you. Heh, <laughs> this boy, he is important to you. Yes, his pain will cause you great suffering. Therefore, we will kill him right before your eyes. No, Theo! Huh? Sentimental fool, you have now paid the price. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Should you try to cross us again, an agonizing death awaits you. The uranium fuel we seek is gone, no matter. We shall locate it wherever it hides. Look, this is but a minor setback. Soon we will have what we need, and when we do, all of you fools shall pay. Uran, quantum leap! Dad, you saved me. I... That attack was going to kill me, but you... You jumped in at the last second. Dad, I finally found out you're alive and... Oh, no. Is he... You know... Is he alive? He's still alive. Quick, we have to... Oh, wait. No, that's somebody else. He's still alive. Quick, we have to get him to a hospital. Cameron's yet to... Oh, wait. Cameron's yet to got you. They... They said to be a... Mo oh, Wait a minute, let me get back my bamboo voice. I think we're on it. Cameron's Yatagayu, they're said to be amongst the swiftest flyers in Tandor. Will you help us take him to safety? Yep. Quickly, Rangers, there's no time to waste. We have to get to the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Yo, this is like an episode of your favorite TV show when all of the characters are just... When, when everybody that you like is down, is down and out and like... We're gonna come back strong. I already know. Like, this is gonna be crazy. I am so motivated to play this game. Uh, Kellen, you're hurt. I'll, I'll be fine. Get to the Ranger HQ in Beale Beach City. We have to move fast. Cameron's condition is critical. Now, quickly. We have to go, too. My dad's life is on the line. Cubo, your dad didn't look so good, either. I think he was affected by radiation. I don't really know what just happened or who that scary person and that weird Pokemon were. We gotta find them. Yeah, we should definitely follow them to Beale Beach City. I'm sure the Rangers can explain some more about this... Oh, we're talking to Bamboo. About this scary person. You two both fly there, right? Wait, what? Oh, wait. Don't tell me I forgot to give you both the fly HM. Yes! Finally! Finally! Thank you! We don't have anything that can fly, though. We don't have a single Mon on our team that can fly, though. <laughs> well, this is awkward. You mean you had it this in uh, You mean you had it this entire time? Jeez, I had to walk and surf everywhere I went. You must be lo losing it in your old age, Pops. Okay, okay, I get it. Sheesh, I'm not that old. Okay, this voice isn't quite right. Here it is. This is Bamboo. We are back to Bamboo voice. Here you go, both of you. And we got fly. Finally. Finally. Sweet, I'll teach this to my po Sweet, I'll teach this to my Pokemon and be in Beale Beach City. Quick as a thunderbolt. Zap. Alright, later. 
He always has so much energy, but his father is alive and I can't fault him for feeling excited. Who would have expected to see Cameron again after all this time? And why was he hiding in the first place? This whole thing is very strange. Well, Cubo, I'd be happy to give you a lift to Bill Beach on my Pajay. I think the Rangers can handle the rest of the nuclear Pokemon here. All things considered, we managed to prevent another meltdown, so this part of Tandor should be safe for now. We should hurry to the headquarters. Hop on, Cubo. Alright, so they're making us go with them. Oh, Cubo, Professor, you're just in time. Kellen and Cameron are upstairs in the intensive care unit. Kellen specifically asked for you both. I think you ought to go, ought to go see him. All right. Oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. We got to run up there real quick. We got to run up there real quick and see what the heck is going on. We got to check it out. We got to talk to him. I would talk to all of these guys, but I'm sure it's just dialogue about like, oh man, I can't believe this has happened. I can't believe we're in trouble. But all right. Yo, the music is real. <clears throat> all right. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. All right. Yo, they even have one here. Do you want to use it? Yes. This is cool! Grr, rip, tear, destroy! Yeah, they're definitely messed up. They're definitely messed up. It's an emergency room. You aren't authorized. Oh, it's Cubo and Professor Bambo. Good timing, both of you. Kellen is awake and he's been asking for you. Please, follow me. Alright, back here we go. Oh, the Imperilla's here? This is cool. This is cool. Here, I'll be back over here. I want to see. Is there anything... Is there anything else? What is this? I feel yucky. There, 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 sweetheart. I brought you some soup. Aw, that's so sad. Oh man. We got hyper potions, though. I'm down with that. Down with that. Do your best to limit exposure to radiation. Stay indoors, cover your windows, and take potassium iodide. I wonder if that's a real thing. I wonder how backed up that is. Aw, Cameron's eyes. Oh, no. Dad, I'm here with you, so hang in there, okay? Cameron is unconscious and does not... I'm sad. I don't want to see anything happen to Cameron. I will cry. I actually might cry. Boss is hurt. Must protect boss. Ah, oh, it's his boss. I love it. Yo, the Bambo right there was crazy. Uh, Cubo, is that you? And Theo and Professor Bambo, too. I'm glad you're all here. We came as quickly. We came as quickly as we could. How are you feeling, Kellen? The voice, the Bambo voice is all over the place, man. I do not know who Professor Bambo really is anymore. <laughs> I'm fine. My exposure wasn't all that bad. Uh, please try not to overexert yourself. Some radioactive air has entered your lungs. You need to keep your heart rate down. How can I remain calm when citizens of Pokemon are in danger? I feel it. I feel it. Kellen is is a man. I, I'm loving this game right now. This is what I love in games. Story. Juicy goods. Okay. Listen, now that we know some more about what we're up against, I've come up with a plan. I now positive that this is Curry person. It's a cause for all these meltdowns. Uh, if we can't take down Curie, then the power plants will be safe and we can begin restoration. Of course, that requires us to find where Curie is hiding. Fortunately, Cameron has been helpful on that front. Dad, but he's out cold ever since. It seems Cam expected something like this might happen. We know, we, when we brought him in, we found these documents on the inside of his jacket. He appeared to have been gathering information on Curie and Urain for quite some time. Also included was this letter. Cameron was like the underdog of this whole thing. Cohen and the Rangers of Tandor, you know me as Cameron Kane, engineer, private contractor, and father. However, this is not, however, <clears throat> however, this is not the truth about who I am. My real, real name is Cameron Stormbringer. I am an agent of Interpol. Eleven years ago, I returned to Tandor to investigate reports of dangerous and illegal experiments on Pokemon. In the progress of my undercover investigation, I was discovered and the criminal covered their tracks and fled. People died as a result. It has been my single greatest regret. After my failure, Interpol released me into an early retirement, but I never forgot what I had discovered on that island. Dad was a secret agent? Whoa, that's awesome! He was, he was really, Cameron was, oh man. That's so tight. That is so cool. I don't know about you guys, but I think that is awesome. <laughs> oh, man. He was, always a he was always a reserved sort of guy. Just showed up in town one day after the accident with this kid. He never really talked about who he was or where he came from. So Cam knew more about the explosion from 10 years ago. The one where Lucille lost her life. Why did he not tell me? There's more to the letter. 
Even though I was retired, I would not rest until these criminals were brought to justice. I knew that proof was still out there, so I became a contractor on the new power plant Epsilon. Using the construction of the new plant as cover, I planned to investigate the site of the ruined plant. The proof... To proof of what happened was no accident. Instead, I found something else, something far more sinister. Blueprints and diagrams that detailed the creation of an artificial Pokemon. I was on the verge of having everything I needed to send a report into Interpol when the unthinkable happened. A huge detonation shook the island. That was when I knew this was far from over. I narrowly escaped the explosion on the back of Yadagaryu. From high in the sky, that was when I saw them. A lone figure emerged from the wreckage of the ruined plant, accompanying a poke by a Pokemon. I recognized the mask of that figure was wearing from the diagrams I had seen. The Curry Interface. What? A high-tech device that was made in the labs. Its purpose appears to be some type of metal re a mental relay. It transmits the wearer's thoughts and commands to the Pokemon. Uranus. A man-made Pokemon, built to be a source of unlimited energy, it's f and its full potential, it has the power to split atoms. However, in order to reach that potential, it needs to consume a large amount of nuclear fuel. To, facili uh, to facilitate this, it has the ability to sense radioactivity, a Geiger sense. I believe your reign was created on that island, and had remained there for years. Deep in slumber, it was the arrival of new uranium fuel on the island that sparked its reawakening. But your reign was not alone. This person, I have no idea who they are or what their goal might be. They are in possession of the Curry interface and seems to be Uranus trainer. Additionally, they seem to want to avoid being seen. They do this by utilizing Uranus teleportation power, Quantum Leap. However, each time they use this ability, a faint radioactive trace gets left behind. Following these traces, I secretly tracked them across the region for months. The fact that everybody thought I was dead made it easier to stay undercover. I can only imagine how worried Theo must be. But, mu uh, but much as I care about my son, protecting Tandor is more important. I feel it, dude. This is deep. So, you just let us all think you were dead? How could you, Dad? I was devastated! He literally just said how he could, Theo. He literally just explained why he did it. For the greater good of everybody. I mean, I know it was because you had secret agent stuff to do, but you could have at least sent a sign, anything. Yes, losing Cameron was hard on all of us, especially you, Theo. But while he was missing, he was secretly tracking Curry. The information might allow us to finally capture them and put a stop to all of this. At, le at last, they seem to settle down in the ruins of Power Plant Zeta, north of Minoville. It's remote and the radiation keeps intruders away. There is a large stockpile of nuclear fuel there, but it's not enough to last them forever. Eventually, they will run out, and they will be forced to move in search of more fuel. The only remaining stash of uranium is in East Tandor. That is where they will move next. I believe it is time for me to take my move. I shall anonymously alert the rangers before they attack, and have the nuclear fuel relocated elsewhere. Should Uranus get a hold of more fuel, it may be able to reach its fully realized form, a Pokemon of unlimited destructive power. I must do whatever it takes to prevent that. The rangers will set a trap for Uranus and Curry at the power plant Omicron. There, they will be forced to reveal themselves. If they manage to escape, then they will flee to power plant Zeta again. Do... In that case, I will join with the rangers and confront them there. I must bring them to justice, for mine and everybody's sake. Cameron Stormbringer. Theo Stormbringer. So that- so that's the end of the letter. Yeah, that's it. Although it's not all that Cam left us. He seems to have quite a lot of data gathered about Curie and Uranus. Files detailing their abilities, weaknesses, he seems fairly fixated on it. There's no str you're no stranger to that, though, are you, Gullen? <clears throat> that aside, Cameron's information may prove invaluable. Included was a tracking signal. Apparently during the Battle of Curry and Uranus, he managed to attach a small geolocator to them. My rangers are scanning for their frequency now. Boss, we track the tra or we trace the tracking signal. It's coming from the west, just like you said. It seems to be originating from deep within the Vitaville hazard zone. So Cam was right, they're inside of the power plant Zeta. Or uh, are the hazard suits prepared? Uh, ready to deploy, sir. That's good news. This time the Rangers have to advantage. We'll track down the criminals and stop them. I wish that I could lead this mission, but Cubo. Are we gonna be the one? Normally there is an oath and a ceremony, but time is of the essence, so I'll get right to the point. I'm promoting you to full Ranger status. I want you to lead this mission in my steed. I know you can do it. You've overcome every challenge in your path. You have eight badges now. You've become a brave, independent person. I just want you to know, I'm so proud of you, Kubo. I couldn't have asked for a better child. I just wish I'd been a better father. I hope that I can make it up to you someday, after all this is done. What was that? Was that a hug? 
Was that us hugging the, the move forward? Sniff. I, I'm so happy Dad is alive. I never want to leave him again, but also I gotta make this Kiri person pay for what they did. Kellen, I want to be a ranger too. Of course, Theo. You can get a promotion for this mission. You're, the more strong trainers we have, the better chance of taking down Curie. I'll stay here at HQ and provide backup. We'll monitor your position remotely. Professor, we need you in the laboratory. Of course, we're close to a breakthrough on the cure. I just know it. Hey, Cuba, we got to be rangers. That's awesome, isn't it? You, you two have to proven, uh, you two have more than proven yourselves. Theo, your actions of standing up to Curry, well, it was foolhardy, but your bravery is admirable. Hey, give it a rest. I just found out Dad was alive and he was in trouble. I couldn't just stand by and do nothing. Dad, I'll make sure your sacrifice was worthwhile. And when you finally wake up, I'll be there to tell you that you helped save Tandor. A squad of rangers is waiting at the western dock on Route 7. There, you will take a boat across the lake and all the way down to Route 8, uh, the wheat fields. The area is designed, d designated the hazard zone. You will need protective gear. Fortunately, our researchers have developed the hazard suit, which will protect you from radiation. At the far side of the route, it, there is a road leading to the power plant Zeta. The tracking signal is coming from deep inside the plant. You will need to come prepared. We don't know what to... There's so much dialogue, guys. I've literally been reading dialogue for like 10 minutes straight almost. I apologize. There's so much. Don't know what to expect. Alright, do I finally get to end the episode? I do. Alright, there's stuff going on inside. I'm ending it right here. Nah, because I want to see so I can train up between episodes and get us another Mon for the squad to help us out. All right, we're good. We made it out of that. We did that crazy, 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 crazy episode. Like, absolutely insane. I don't know what to even say about all of that. That was nuts. That was actually nuts. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like down Leave a like down below to show your support. It really does help out the series, the channel, and everything I'm trying to do here. I'd really appreciate it. But as always, my name is Cubewack. I am signing out, and I will catch all of you guys next time. Peace!